Hello students. So today my topic is Euclid division lemma along with Euclid division algorithm. First let's start with the Euclid division lemma. For any two number a and b there exist other two unique whole number that is q and r such that a is equals to bq plus r. This is the statement related to Euclid division lemma. To understand this statement in a better way we can uh, say that uh, we have already learned in class 4 and 5 uh, when dividend is divided by a divisor we get q as quotient and r as remainder as you can see in the screen that uh, when uh, a number 7 is divided by 2 we can get 3 as a quotient and 1 as a remainder and that means we can write this whole division process in the form of 7 is equals to 2 into 3 plus 1 and when this number 7 and 2 is replaced by a and b we can write this is in the form of a is equals to bq plus r where a and b are the two whole numbers two whole numbers when divided and uh, by division we can get r as 1 and q as 3 clear to all of you so this is a proven statement the Euclid division lemma is actually a proven statement which is further used in proving other statements. Now come to the topic Euclid division algorithm. Euclid division algorithm is a technique to find the SCF using the Euclid division lemma by step by step solution. We are going to solve question, uh, questions related to that so to understand the topic in a better way. So let's start with Euclid uh, question based on Euclid division lemma. So one more thing I need to say when I divide one number from another number then the remainder is always less than the divisor and greater than or equal to 0. That means uh, either the remainder is equal to 0 or greater than 0 but always less than the divisor. This we need to keep in mind. Part of our catalyst recipe path by subscribing our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated. Also, leave a like and comment. Bye. Okay, so let's start with our first question. The first question is prove that or show that every positive odd integer is in the form of 2q plus 1. To solve this question we need to use Euclid division lemma. I'll show you how to use Euclid division lemma to prove this kind of questions. So first of all let us assume any positive number any positive integer as a and b as 2. So using Euclid division lemma we have a is equals to 2q plus r where r is always less greater than or equal to 0 and less than 2 that means r either 1 or 0 so further we are going to solve case 1 when r is equals to 0 then when r is equals to 0 then a is equals to 2q plus 0 so as we can see that a is equals to 2q that means 2 divides a in q times and q divides a in 2 times so when a number is divisible by 2 it is even so clearly we can write this as even and the second case when r is 1 then a is equals to 2q plus 1 and uh, here the remainder is 1 so we can say this is odd so now we conclude that every odd positive integer is in the form of 2q plus 1 now the next question is prove that or show that the square of any positive integer is in the form of either 3m or 3m plus 1. So we are going to solve this question also uh, with the same process. So let's start. Uh, let a be any positive integer and b is equals to 3. Why 3? Because here in the question uh, we need to prove in the form of 3m or 3m plus 1. That's the reason we need to prove that uh, we need to take b as 3. So using Euclid division lemma uh, a is equals to 3q plus r where zero, uh, r is always greater than or equal to 0 and less than b less than 3 that is uh, b in place of b 
वी कैन राइट थ्री और आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन और टू सो फर्स्ट इन केस वन इफ आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू प्लस जीरो इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज मैं स्क्वायर ऑफ ए डी पॉजिटिव इन डीज That means we need to do square to the both side. That is squaring both side. So after squaring both side, we have a square is equals to three q whole square. That we can also write a square is equals to nine q square. And if we take three common, then a square is equals to three into three q square. After that, in the next step, a square is equals to three into three m, where m is three q square. So In this case, we are able to prove when r is equals to zero that a square or a square of any positive number is in the form of 3m. But what if when r is equals to one? So let's understand the case two. So the case two says that when r is equals to one, then a is equals to 3q plus one. After squaring both side, we get a square is equals to 3q plus one whole square, and uh, As we can see that 3q plus 1 is in the form of a plus b whole square. So now uh, write in the form of a square b square uh, and 2ab. Then a square is equals to 9q square plus 6q plus 1. After that, in the next step, a square is equals to 3. When we take common from 9q square and 6q, we can take common 3, right? So a square is equals to 3 under bracket 3q square plus 2q plus 1. In the next step. A square is equals to 3m plus 1, where whatever inside the bracket we can write as m. That means 3 times m plus 1 is a square. Likewise, in the case 3, when the remainder is 2, then a is equals to 3q plus 2. Squaring both side, a square is equals to 3q plus 2 whole square. And we can see the same thing that uh, 3q plus 2 is in the form of a plus b whole square. So use the formula a square 2ab plus b square. So we can write 3q plus 2 is in the form of 9q square plus 12q plus 4. Then a square is equals to 9q square plus 12q plus 4. We can write in the form of 3 plus 1. Now we can see 9q square plus 12q plus 3. We can take 3 common. Then when we take three common, we have three q square plus four q plus one inside the bracket, and plus one is left aside. After that, the next step will be a square is equals to three m plus one, where m is equals to three q square plus four q plus one. So now, in all the three cases, we have studied that either any square of any positive number is either in the form of three m or three m plus one. Thank you.